Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday on the uh, van restoration, the Lisa Marie today. I'm a sheet metal worker and I'm making a new insert for the old door got bent in half and destroyed on it. So I went out and I got some nice heavy gauge uh, sheet steel here. And um, I don't have a brake. For those of you who do sheet metal work, you know a brake is a nice thing to have. It makes nice clean cuts. I've had to use the uh, snips on it. And I'm just dry fitting the first piece in here that I have cut. And this is going to be weather sealed behind here. And on top of this is going to be a lattice work. I have that here, and this will be cut down too, and that'll look very nice with the, uh, I think with the white paint in front, with the door behind, I think that'll really look uh, excellent. So I'm in the process of just uh, cutting and dry fitting right now, and then we're going to uh, clean up the frame a lot on here, let me sit this down. I'm going to clean this frame up and get this ready to reseal. We're going to have some butyl tape, and that's far superior to tape uh, putty tape. And we'll be running that around there, running it around the inside here, and really sealing it well. So although it won't be functional, it will look very aesthetically pleasing on the side of the van there. So everything is just... Uh, nibbling on it a little bit yeah it's a lot of work to cut that uh, but it's worth it we'll get that sealed in then i'm going to actually uh put some screws in once the tape is down we're going to put a bead of uh, good quality exterior uh, silicone on here and then take some screws and screw down that whole inner door assembly so underway here with the uh Next day on the restoration. And that's all been uh, all been sized nicely. It doesn't have to be perfect, actually. If it's got a little bit of, uh, you can see up here it rides a little bit higher, but that'll be good to uh, fit in the slot. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and prime the uh, back, and we're going to be putting that with the uh, white that matches the rig over there. And this will overlay the uh, top of it and give a really nice effect when sitting in the uh, sitting in the uh, frame here. So the frame has to be cleaned up uh, too. So, all right. In the meantime, I'm going to get this uh, all primed up. When I prime, I always put down a base tack coat first. I don't worry about uh, overcoating every bit of it because that way you create runs in your paint job and i'm also making sure to get the edges uh here too for uh for maximum protection on this so i'm gonna let that dry out a little bit then i'm gonna flip it over and do the other side and flip it over and second coat and flip it over and second coat on the other side when you uh, arrange your works flow in the shop on a project like this you always want to think about What's the thing that's going to take the longest to do? And it's not fabricating. It's waiting for the uh, steel that's been primed to dry there. So, uh, yeah, you want to make sure that you're doing the things that are going to take the longest first, either to dry or fabricate or whatever. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and attack this uh, frame. I have some steel wool here. I'm just basically rubbing it down. It's doing a real good job of bringing back the... Uh, aluminum finish on that so i'm going to go around and work that and then flip it over marshals out on a material run here and i'm going to remove all the old putty tape that's on here probably get a better view in the sun there of that and get these surfaces all cleaned up okay the two coats of primer are done and i've just laid down the tack coat finished coat on top of it it's just the uh, first coat you don't want to put it on heavy you want to put it on light and the second coat will grab it really really well meantime i've been uh, sitting here working away on the uh, 
frame here, you can see that's looking really good. That comes up really well with some steel wool. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'll be flipping it over in a minute to uh, work on getting the goo off of here. So when we go to reseal, it'll be a nice seal. We got multiple seals to put on here. Once we have our uh, flat steel in here, and then we'll put the uh, the dressing, the uh, um, what would you call it, the screening over top of it. We'll go ahead and uh, press some uh, tape, some putty in there. We'll get that, the uh, butyl tape, we'll get that sealed up real well. And uh, then we'll go ahead and put down a layer, remove this old stuff in here. And that should seal down really well. All right, Marsh, we're our progress today. We got that cleaned up. That's really cleaned up good. That frame on both sides is able to yeah. accept the adhesive. You want to close Definitely, that up? Yeah, as... this is uh, Rosie cut this piece and put it here for the uh, yeah, face our... of the generator door. It looks really nice, that's as look you can really see good. here. So what we're going to do is fit the uh, fit the show piece behind there, and then we're going to get in there with the butyl tape and work that butyl and get a really snug tight fit in there yep and make that totally uh totally waterproof put the butyl tape here and seal yeah. this outer door with that uh sheet yep. metal and um yep. i guess there's also going to be butyl tape butyl here tape there for another seal this and there'll be butyl be tape and sealing underneath yeah, the frame drop also. that drop that screen down yep because yeah, on the, and it's also going to be screwed down this frame now. There's no reason right. to ever open, open that again. This, exactly. Yep. So, okay. We're going to get a nice seal on it. Yep. All right. Uh, All right. Open. There's Chief Canadian Inspector Missy Jen. You think that thing looks pretty good, doesn't it? You sit it sideways and lengthwise. Uh, I think that's going to be a nice addition to the uh, nice addition to the coach there. And a nice thing about that, Jan, that'll actually look like coach works too. On there, Absolutely. You know? I think this is really professional looking. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, you should put a patent on that. Now we got to uh, go ahead. We got to seal the uh, the uh, door that opens now. We're going to use some screws to do that too. So okay, onward and upward. Thank you, Mr. Jen. Woo. All right, the back has been uh, double sealed with the butyl tape. You can see a little of it is uh, coming out there. That's okay. Get that. That's going to be mounted into the uh, rig. I'm now going ahead. The inner door is never going to open. This is strictly for show. So I'm finishing this off with some number six by three quarter stainless uh, pan head screws, and I think that gives a really nice finished detail and I'm going to go all the way around the frame that'll give additional holding power to uh, prevent water intrusion so it's really coming along okay the frame is all ready it's all screwed tight it's all water tight very happy with the way that that uh, turned out clean that up a little bit that'll be good to go now we're uh, gonna seal some of these holes on the inside here we have plenty of steel left to do that so Marshall's going to clean that area up uh, first, so, okay. Ooh, fire in the hole. <laughs> Next is removing and preparing the... Uh, outer for a good seal here and get all this goo off of here yep they said goo. the butyl tape is better than the uh, other stuff now right that's the industry standard that's what they seal all these compartments with like your water this has to be come out and resealed uh, that's what i did the 30 amp with i kind of overdid it here so i'm going to trim some extra off but that's what they use for the industry standard right. we'll show them the butyl tape okay yep. all right getting the old goo off here all right, Marshall's continuing to clean up the uh, exterior for mounting of the uh, finished panel. Marshall, Marshall's uh, finishing the box here on the outside, preparing for 
the butyl tape to go in there for the uh, seal of the, uh, what I call a lid now, false front there. And I'm going ahead and I'm working the old sheet metal worker here. I'm uh, making some uh, covers for the uh, some of the holes for the exhaust and some of the other things here in the uh, the electric and other things here in the uh, in the box. So okay, All right, working that metal. All right, so here's the uh, here's the new lid right over here, which was did a beautiful job on that. Beautiful. You got any words? Yeah, Rosie's doing a good job. We're getting it done. We're getting her done. Yep. Getting her done. Yep. All right. All right, the real grunt work of the job is getting this cleaned up and getting these uh, holes sealed up for the uh, exhaust and for the oil drain, as well as we got some hold down bolts here. So we do have the sheet metal to use. I'm going to lay a big piece down here. This was an unusual shape up here. I beat a piece into shape and then laid it over top of this. It has a double waterproofing, the exterior grade uh, flashing, a uh, big piece of sheet metal in here, and then that's uh, overcoated with another piece of flashing, and then it's uh, screwed down on here. So, okay. And uh, in the home stretch, but we got to get these uh, holes properly sealed up and watertight. And then we'll be able to uh, fit the uh, frame back in here. Marshall's going ahead and clean that up real well here so that we can use the butyl tape, which is the new industry standard for uh, sealing up uh, exterior fittings, exterior windows and things on uh, motor coaches as well as marine applications. So, all right. Our marshal's just uh, smoothing down the flashing over top of the uh, sheet metal here. And I like to use construction flashing because it's the real deal when that goes in there. Well, the last thing we got to do with the surface is all prepped. I'm going to let Marshall put uh, that uh, butyl tape should be cool now. It can't work it when it's hot. It gets too gummy. It gets too gummy, yep. So we're going to uh, go ahead and... Uh, Install the frame Cut and door. the butyl and put the frame and door on. Alright guys, it has been a long day, but I think that you can see we have a really lovely cover now for the uh, generator compartment. It actually looks uh, factory. Something that you can be proud of. We're going to let the uh, butyl set up tonight and then we're going to come back tomorrow and uh, razor clean the edges of it and get it all packed in real good for uh, for the ultimate in waterproofing. It's, it has a lot of waterproofing built into it. And I'm very happy with the uh, with the way it looks there. And once That's... we once we trim back the uh, butyl tape it will really be uh it'll really look sharp on the coach and clean it up that will that will look absolutely excellent somebody will just assume it's a storage box or something there marshall huh yeah it's been quite a project to get this removed and sealed properly and mounted properly and a lot of things went into this project a lot of time but it's coming out really nice not only is it going to look nice from the outside now it's created a really nice space on the inside right. for the dinette area. Yep. Yeah, so there it is. So tomorrow will just be clean up and trim up and uh, wedging a little more of the butyl in here and there to contour to the uh, body. I think that the uh, waterproofing on that will be, uh, will be excellent. We did the base with the uh, flashing, the... Uh, contractor grade flashing there for windows and I think that'll be excellent all right Marshall any well, uh, any words today on yeah this is uh, when Rosie says on her Gmail I can make it like new at gmail.com this is probably the greatest RV motorhome project that she's done because she really made uh, an original vintage piece of the Lisa Marie better than new. Yeah, I think we've, like you said, all that space is now opened up. 
right. we'll clean up that area tomorrow and give you a daylight look at it but i'm um, gonna wrap it up tonight do some cleanup some final work tomorrow so thank you guys for being along i really appreciate it right, and just stay tuned